In this part, we're going to be working with fraction. So in the previous part, we were working with whole numbers. But here, we're going to have some fraction. So it's possible that we might have in our final answer with fraction. But don't forget, it is also possible that a fraction can become a whole number. So in our first example, we have 3x minus 7 half equal to 1 fourth. So first, we're going to apply the addition principle. So I'm going to add both sides by 7 half. So it's 3x equal 1 fourth plus 7 half. All right, from there, I notice that we have common, uncommon denominator, meaning not the same. So again, I repeat, we have uncommon, not like denominators. So we need to have the same denominator in order to add or subtract fraction. So the common denominator between 4 and 2 is 4 because the 2 can become 4 by multiplying by 2. So I'm going to multiply by 2 on a denominator and on a numerator. So what it's going to look like is going to be 3x equal 1 fourth plus 14 over 4. Once we have the same denominator, it's going to be 3x equal 15 over 4. All right, I'm going to write it up here, 15 over 4. So 3x equal 15 over 4. So finish combining those fractions. Next, I'm going to apply the multiplication principle. So the reciprocal of 3 is 1 third. And I'm going to multiply also on the right side, 1 third. All right. From there, it's going to be 3x over 3 equal. Now, when you're multiplying with fraction, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So it's going to be 15 over 12. Now, 3x divided by 3, that's simply going to become 1x equal. Now, I notice that 15 and 12, they both can be divisible by 3. So, let's make a little note, divide by 3, divide by 3. So when I do that, 15 over 12 can simplify into 5 over 4. So, it will be 1x equals 5 over 4, or x equals 5 over 4. So, any form can be your final answer. Now when working with fraction, you must double check if you can simplify. If you can, then do so. Now if you cannot, then you can leave it as an improper fraction, just like our final answer. These two are an example of an improper fraction. Example 2, we have 4x minus 3 over 5 equals 1 over 2. So, addition principle, I want to add both sides by 3 fifths. four x equals to one half plus three over five. All right, so again, I noticed that we don't have same denominator. So you must look for same denominator before we can actually add or subtract fraction. So the common denominator between two and five is actually 10. So bear, keep that in mind, to, change 2 into 10, I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 5. To change 5 into 10, I'm going to multiply the numerator and denominator by 2. So it's going to be 4x equal 5 over 10 plus 6 over 10. Then I can actually combine these two fractions. It will be 4x equal 11 over 10.
All right, I'm going to write it up here. So 4x equals 11 over 10. Then I'm going to apply the multiplication principle. So the reciprocal of 4 is 1 fourth. Multiply it to both sides. So this will become 4x over 4 equal. Again, fraction, multiply with another fraction. Numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So it will be 11 over 40. This will simplify into 1x equal. I'm double checking, nothing in common between 11 and 40. So it will simply stay as 11 over 40. Or x equals 11 over 40. So 1x equals 11 over 40. That's our final answer, or x equals 11 over 40. Example 3, we have negative 5x minus 3 halves equals 1 third. So first we're going to apply the addition principle. So I'm going to add 3 half on the left, add 3 half on the right. Negative 5x equal 1 third plus 3 halves. Notice that we have different denominators in our fraction. So take a look at the 3 and the 2. The common denominator between 3 and 2 is 6. So in our first fraction, the 1 third, to change the 3 into 6, I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 2. In our second fraction, to change 2 into 6, I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 3. So I'm going to have negative 5x equal 2 over 6 plus 9 over 6. Doing so, it will become negative 5x equal, this will become 11 over 6. So I finished combining my fraction with the same denominator. Then I'm going to write up here for more space. So negative 5x equal 11 over 6. Now, once I have that, what I'm going to do is going to do the multiplication principle. So the reciprocal of negative 5 is negative 1 over 5. I'm going to do it on the both sides, so negative 1 over 5. So this will become negative times negative will be 5x, positive 5x over 5, equal fraction times a fraction. Don't forget, negative here. So negative 11 over 30. I'm going to simplify 5x over 5 will be 1x equal negative 11 over 30. Now, I know I can't simplify because there's nothing in common between 11 and 30. So it's 1x equals negative 11 over 30, or x equals negative 11 over 30. So those are the two forms of our final answer. 1x equals negative 11 over 30, or x equals negative 11 over 30.